I think that um, it, it really kind of isn't a choice. I think if, if you are a committed member of society and you understand the influence that you can have and you feel responsible to um, you know, fight injustices or to, um, to really try to fight for equality, then you don't really have a choice but to engage. And I guess I feel that I was so lucky to be born in this position where, you know, I have food to eat, I have clean water to drink, I have um, a community of people that support me. And so why not use that amazing base to try to make more people in that position, I suppose. I'd like to talk about that a little bit. Um, We've had other conversations with people who did not come to embracing the particular position that they're in, where they could be a wealth holder, where they have a platform in media, where they um, didn't have any of the tools that you have, that you've, you're comfortable in embracing. What was it in your background, do you think, that allowed you to take on these challenges so young? Well, it was tricky. I mean, it wasn't, it was kind of a conscious choice because, you know, not to kind of like dwell on this too much, but it's a little weird when you realize at an early age that you have a lot of wealth and that people are associating you with that. And so, and I see a lot of peer group, people in my peer group struggle with that and they don't kind of, it's, it's almost like the secret that they want to hide. And I just think that's unproductive. I understand it, but it's not productive. And so why not kind of embrace that and say, okay, well, what, what can I do with this situation instead of running away from it? But I think that uh, that's, that's actually, it's, it's not an easy choice necessarily because you always want to be identifying with I don't know, opportunities that you don't have as opposed to <laughs> taking advantage of the ones that you do. And I think also for young people sometimes to say, I'm a full-time philanthropist. So a philanthropist makes you almost, you don't want to be considered a socialite. Right. And so that's, that's also, I think, a little bit tricky. And so if you don't want to be considered a socialite, then don't do socialitic philanthropy. <laughs> like, do it the way you want to do it.